Hello, my name is Danny Nolan and I'm the Director of Chassis and Technologies. And ladies and gentlemen, today I've got a real treat for you. I'm proud to announce the inaugural Chassis Online Race Engineering Competition. Now, I realise, ladies and gentlemen, that a lot of you have been, and our brothers and sisters in the motorsport community, have been hit really hard um, by the coronavirus um, uh, pandemic. And I also re realise that a lot of you are basically locked up at home um, in a situation of um, twiddling your thumbs. And the whole idea of this competition, ladies and gentlemen, is to give you a fun little avenue to keep your skills up, uh, up, to, sp up to speed, but also to for us to, ha uh, for us to um, uh, have a bit of enjoyment and uh, uh, bring a bit of um, uh, uh, bring a light and levity to the situation that we find ourselves in. So, what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, um, is we are going to base this on the full uh, Le Mans circuit, and the car that we're going to be running is going to be an LMP2 Plus car. And what I mean by that is that even though the uh, basis is a P2 car. Because with Chassis Sim, we've had so many customs in both P2 and P1, we've sort of done a little bit of an LMP2 car and just sort of up the aero and up to, um, uh, the engine power so you can have a bit of fun with it. So, this is what you're going to be given. You're going to be given uh, a Chassis Sim online license. You'll be provided with a car and a circuit model, and you'll be given 100 simulations. Now, the competition entry fee is uh, 50 Australian dollars, and that's just to cover our admin costs and also um, the prize money as well. So, here are the rules of the competition. First things first, the tyres, engine and aero pitch sensitivity maps are fixed. And this is to make sure that, the, uh, and the reason these rules are in place, ladies and gentlemen, is just to make sure the competition doesn't go silly. Now, you can adjust toe and camber and the specified gear and rear wing settings. Now, the masses, track, CG, heights and inertias are all fixed. Um, minimum dynamic ride height um, has got to be 10 millimeters front and rear. Now, your diff options are either an LSD and you're free to play with all the LSD settings that you'd like and the lock diff and also too, this is rear wheel drive only. Also too, to keep this a little bit sane, um, we're not allowing you to play with um, Cursor Hybrid. But apart from that, ladies and gentlemen, go crazy. However, one thing that I do want to ram home, ladies and gentlemen, you are on your own. So what I mean by that is that obviously if you have login problems with the online simulation, of course we're going to help you with that. But if you come to us and say, oh look, yeah, we tried this but it crashed, well unfortunately that's it. You've got to go back to your base model and um, start again, ladies and gentlemen. And that's to make sure that everyone has a level playing that everyone has a level playing field. And besides, with all of the videos um, on the Shasim, um YouTube page, I think you've got more than enough background material um, to work from. So the assessment, you're going to submit a car file and they're going to be run on the lap time simulation and by a tame racing driver using Chase Sim driver in the loop. And the assessment is going to be the following. So what we're going to do is let's just say that we've got um, three competitors. Now clearly we're going to expect more, but, but for purpose of illustration, say we've got three competitors and for the lap time result, um, first place comes in is one, second place is two, third place is three, and let's assume the driver and the loop results go the same way, so you've got one, two, and three, and the results for this are added. So clearly the result, uh, uh, the competitor with the lowest score will be the, uh, will be the winner. So in this particular situation, competitor one will win the prize. Bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, in addition to finding car speed, you're also going to be assessed on drivability. So I would strongly encourage you all that when you are finding speed in lap times, also also check your stability index channels to make sure you're not leading yourself up the garden path. Timings and praise money. Competition registration is going to be open till June 15. Model submission is going to be August 1. The winners will be announced in September 15. And of course, there's prize money. So to give you guys a little bit of a carrot here, P1 will be worth 1,000 US dollars, P2 is going to be 500 US dollars, and P3 will be 250 US dollars. Okie dokie. Now, in terms of uh, now, in terms of what you're going to get, one of the things that um, uh, 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 one of the, the things that you're going um, uh, uh, one of the things that you're going to be getting is that you're going to be getting the following zip file. So you're going to get an email with uh, 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 so um, you're going to get uh, you're going to get an email 
with your login details for Chassis Online, but you're also going to be given this particular, uh, you're going to also be given this particular zip file. So, what, uh, uh, so, and the zip file that you're going to be given is this zip file right here. Now, I've taken the liberty of copying and pasting that from my downloads folder, and what I want you all to do is when you install Chassis Sim, it'll create a folder called Chassis Sim Technologies without a space. Create a folder called Models, create a folder called Le Mans, and put this all in here. Now, what you want to do here is extract the contents of that zip file to here. So we've got a, a curvature file, we've got a car file, you've got a, a bump profile, and you've got your allowed settings. Now, let me walk you through your allowed settings. In your allowed settings, you've got your aero settings here, which is your wing settings, your CLA, CDA. Also too, you've got two gear stacks to choose from. You've got a short set to choose from, but you've also got a long set to choose from. So this sort of sweetens the pot a little bit in terms of where you want to go in terms of um, aero setup. Now, in order to get this set up with Chassis Sim, all that you've got to do is that you open up Chassis Sim. And what you do is that you go to File, Open. You navigate to Chassis Sim Technologies, Models, Le Mans. Click on the car file and click on Open. Go into Circuit, Circuit Data. Go into Curvature File. Load in Track Le Mans. Load in your bump profile, go to star, go to file filter, star dot dat, go to bump profile I'm on and click on open. Click on OK. You are now good to simulate. Now, a couple of pointers um, to get you going. What I would strongly do is, is make sure that you take that base car file and when you start to play with it, you save it as something else. You can save it as LMP2 my car file or something so at least you know what this actually uh, uh, so at least you know um, uh, uh, so at least you know what this actually is so that's the first thing I'd uh, I would uh, recommend to you also too ladies and gentlemen just remember those 100 simulations are going to go quickly so be careful and deliberate about um, the uh, about the changes you choose so at this point, ladies and gentlemen, let me take the opportunity um, uh, to wish you luck. All of the details will be in the uh, matching blog post that goes on to this. And may the, ba and may the best race engineer win, and we're very much looking forward to your entries.